joined by assistant coach Curtis Perverz off uh, Curtis. And there's some positives for the Moose Jaw Warriors here in the first game of the season, right? You have a two, one lead going into the third period. Uh, you know, good plays by Connor Schmidt, good plays by Lennon Lakovich. Uh, give us your assessment on the first uh, 40 minutes of play for the Warriors where you guys seem to push the pace on Brandon. Yeah, really liked, uh, really liked the first period. I thought we had a lot of jump, a lot of energy. Um, we were executing plays. Uh, we had numbers around the puck, and uh, we were doing a good job playing off the shot. And I think we got away from that there in the third period. And, um, you know, like I said, it's first game of the season, and I think a lot of guys are some of the guys' first games of their uh, their Western League careers. And it's good to get them in. And so there's a lot of learning, a lot of teaching, um, make sure we're executing on the details. And um, you know, I think we'll be all right here moving forward. But like I said, I like to start. Um, a lot of areas to clean up here moving forward. It details in the defensive zone, kind of burning the Warriors at times? Yeah, I think defensive zone, I think neutral zone, I think a big part of it was just execution. Um, we weren't executing on our breakouts properly and, and through the neutral zone and um, cost a lot of turnovers and we were in tracking situations and, and playing D zone coverage. So um, certainly some areas to clean up here before tomorrow and um, we'll get a good look at the game tonight here on the bus and, and see what we can clean up here for our home opener. And Jackson Unger seemed calm at that for the Warriors tonight. That, that's a big positive for me to take out of tonight. Yeah, I thought Jackson was our best player. I thought uh, made a lot of really big saves and, and kept the game close. I think we made his job a little bit more difficult on him than it needed to be in the third period. And, um, you know, I think that's uh, what Jackson brings, that calm demeanor, uh, stays big in front of the net. Um, but like I said, I think I think we need to do a bit of a better job collectively as a group, uh, helping him out and, and ultimately helping ourselves out. No Braden Yeager, who's in Manitoba with the Winnipeg Jets. Uh, obviously, that's that's a big minus. But the other side of it is no Kalen Parker, no Voitech Port on the back end. Down a 19- and 20-year-old on the blue line. You could really see that here tonight. There is you know, a lot of inexperience for the Warriors on the blue line. Yeah, I think that just comes with the early parts of the season. I think, yeah. uh, you know, Brandon's not an exception either. They got guys away at NHL camps, and, you know, we talk about it all the time. I think it's an opportunity for the young guys to to showcase what they can do and that they're going to be seeing some more minutes in those kinds of situations. And, um, you know, I thought for the most part, our young guys looked uh, looked pretty good and, and up to the task. And um, I think they're going to get a little bit more comfortable with the pace of the game and uh, physicality of the game. But, um, you know, overall, I thought the young guys did a, did a pretty good job tonight, and uh, it's good to get the first one out of the way for them. Lastly, Curtis, home opener tomorrow, the banner raising ceremony, I guess, uh, for you and the coaching staff, uh, pretty special for the organization, is it not? Yeah, I think it's it's very special. I think, you know, we talk about that a lot, 40-year uh, Moose Jaw Warrior history, and um, to get it done last year was obviously exciting, and um, had some time over the summer to reflect on it and, and enjoy some some celebrations, and, um, you know, we'll, we'll enjoy tomorrow night, and then when puck drops, it's, uh, it's on to 24-25, and we'll flip the page. Magri Coaches Show with assistant coach Curtis Perverzov. Appreciate the time. Good luck tomorrow as you guys take on the Prince Albert Raiders in your home opener. Great. Thanks, James.